What's up, world? It's your boy, Drew Marcy, almighty bass Drew, Lord Marcy, world's first and favorite rap coach. And today's video is all about written rhymes, rhymes that are just written in the comment box. Uh, we used to call it net scene back in the day or text scene. It's all those folks that are like, yo, can you just read these lyrics on this page or read this lyrics in this email and uh, tell me what you think? Am I going to be a superstar? Now, this video comes partially in the title from this video comes partially inspired by another video I did called Fuck Your Mixtape and Why Nobody Is Listening To It. In that video, you can go check it. I'll put it in the video description box below. But that video is all about the idea that if you don't have fans or you don't have the work ethic to create music uh, on a regular basis, if you only have like five songs and suddenly you're planning to do a mixtape, like, I'm sorry, you don't have fans to listen to it. You need to get a better work ethic. You need to make more music before you're planning this major mixtape. And the title for this video, all about written rhymes, is Fuck Your Writtens and Why Nobody Is Reading It. Now, what I want you to get out of this, and the reason why this is important, uh, is because a lot of y'all are posting just written rhymes in, in my comment boxes. Y'all can go to my other videos. There's a bunch of folks that uh, just have like, yo, like little rhymes. Or there's like, you know, if you go to the instrumentals uh, on YouTube videos or beats, you see all these rhymes and people are upvoting written rhymes. And it's just, the reason it's ridiculous is because flow delivery and music and beat selection and how your vocal tone sounds and all these extremely important things that we need to know if you're doing well in order to know whether the rhyme is hot like at the end of the day so if you're sending me a written rhyme i can't hear your flow i can't hear your voice tone i can't hear your background ad libs i don't know what the chorus sounds like if the shit's catchy all i'm seeing is a bunch of words and I, it's just too important. Now, I see a lot of responses, and I know, like, in the comment box below, it's going to be like, yeah, but, like, it helps me with my rhyme pattern or my scheme or, like, my lyrics are important. Aren't lyrics important, Drew? Of course lyrics are important, but I don't know how those lyrics are being delivered in my ear. It's rap music. It's hip-hop music. It's not hip-hop poetry. It's not just rap poetry. At the end of the day, if it's just a written rhyme, it's just sitting there, Rhymes, rhyme, rhymes without music, it's not music, it's poetry. It's just poetry. Not that there's anything wrong with poetry, but check yourself. Now, the analogy I want you to take home from this video, and the reason I'm saying there ain't nobody really caring about your damn writtens, the analogy I want you to take home is, look, when you send me a written, or when you're like in the comment box, and you're like, is this hot, guys? And it's just a written, no music, just lyrics. Uh, it's sort of like, the idea that you uh, are like, yo, I have this meal. This, these, I have a recipe for these meals. This meal. Can you read this recipe and tell me if it tastes good? Does the food taste good? I'm gonna be like, oh, well, I need to taste the food in order to know whether the recipe works. You know, it's like, but, but aren't, aren't ingredients important? Like, isn't it important to know how long you're going to be cooking the roast and how you're going to preheat? Yeah, but I need to eat the food. It's the same thing with written rhymes. Like, yes, lyrics are important in the same way ingredients are important in a recipe. But if I ain't eating the fucking food, I don't know if the recipe works. I don't know if the food is good. Same with your written rhymes. So that's your little analogy you can take home. Hopefully this serves as a wake up call for all you folks that actually want to make music and you actually want to get it out there and work on your flow and delivery and all those important things that really make great music rather than just great poetry. And be sure to check out our exclusive group, our online class where you work directly with me. I'll put a video description box, uh, put a link in the video description box below. If you want to take this serious up your game, you're tired of just playing xbox freestyling with your homies just watching my videos because it's really cool and step up step up to the plate click that link below and be sure to join us so with that being said today it's all about a reason why you need to be making music and not just poetry not that there's anything wrong with poetry but look you give me a recipe i want to eat the food with that being said i'm out it's your boy Marcy, and i'll talk to you later